and welcome to this chapter in this chapter we will discuss about the difference between ot and it so this is a very common debate like uh, where people can work uh, whether the it people can work in ot and the ot people work in it so it's not like uh, it's not about the people so here it's about the technology and the requirements of the industry so in ot if you have heard about the CIA right so CIA stands for confidentiality integrity and availability of the system so in OT availability is the utmost important so here tried is called AIC so it's a first thing will be availability then integrity then confidentiality but in IT it is CIA so confidentiality is prioritized more in IT and availability is prioritized more in OT so this is the basic difference between OT and IT and also uh, downtime and all those things and health and safety impact is there in OT. So if there is a, there is very less chance of error in OT industry. So if, if there will be error, it can directly impact the health and safety of the uh, individuals. It can turn into a disaster. So these things are making OT a little bit different. So let us see what, what are the basic differences between OT and IT systems. So now let's go one by one. So first is the performance requirement. So in performance requirement in IT, uh, most of the process are non real time or near to real time, we can say. And uh, similarly in uh, OT, all these process are real time. So what does it mean by real time? Real time, it means in OT that the data flows with the product. So this is one uh, good anecdote what I can say. So if, if uh, it gives the exact same time uh, if there is a signal command is going on, it will directly act on the product, uh, which will be at the same time at the same location. So that is called real time. A response uh, in IT is, uh, should be consistent. Like if someone is uh, logging in banking system or or uh, using uh, something, he should get in return every time same same thing. But but in uh, OT, it, it is time critical. So response, it could be a different at a different time. Uh, depending on the what business logic it is running and I, what the state of the system high throughput is demanded like in IT due to the more data vol volume uh, or uh, we always need a 10 gbps link or 100 gbps link or 1 gbps link but this is not required in OT so in OT uh, 100 mbps uh, network is also okay for running command because this barely they consume 4 to 5 mbps maximum throughput in a 24 hour uh, daytime so here the commands and data volume is pretty low unless the backups and all those things are running on the system otherwise the simple command and those things they uh, consume very less bandwidth uh, in uh, IT uh, a jitter or delay might be uh, acceptable but uh, in OT a delay or jitter cannot be acceptable because uh, if jitter happens so let us suppose a digital uh, input is there and it flay it jittered twice or thrice and these systems are quite sensitive they even read the data in the milliseconds and what will happen the system will consider that I have received five commands or I have received six commands due to that jittering and if some delays there might be uh, the exact product chopping or some, something need to act at a some time while should be closed yeah, at that particular point of time. It may will have the production losses and other, other responses as well. In emergency interaction is less critical but in OT response to human and other emergency interaction is critical. In uh, IT tightly restricted access control can be implemented to degree necessary for the security. So because confidentiality is of uh, utmost importance in IT but in OT access to OT should be strictly controlled but should not hamper or interfere with the HMI or human machine interaction so if uh, operator needs to access some system we cannot make the access control so tight that even you will face difficulties in accessing the system and which can eventually lead to the uh, delays in the operation so that is what like in performance requirement we discussed about the differences between IT and OT and now I think hope it is uh, clear for the performance as per the performance requirement so let's move next to the availability requirements let's see so uh, responses such as rebooting are acceptable so you have often seen like uh, if you work on a system uh, and, and suddenly your laptop gets rebooted and those are the IT laptops so that is one a pretty basic example like responses such as rebooting are acceptable we need to and there are some mandatory 
compliances are also set on this laptop that we need to reboot it otherwise it will reboot itself now after some exp expiration of some time availability deficiencies can often be tolerated depending on the system's operational requirements so availability deficiencies can be tolerated uh, coming to the ot side responses such as rebooting may not be acceptable because uh, if let us suppose you are sitting on the operator desk and suddenly your uh, operator console gets rebooted off so it will be complete loss of sight of the plant while while sitting on that and we cannot do that so uh, similarly if i have analog it's like rebooting of a plane's uh, uh, dashboard while while you are flying it so that is not acceptable at all that's why availability is quite important here availability requirements may necessitate redundant system so to maintain this availability we need to create a redundant systems like in loss of the one systems we can switch to the other systems as well outages must be planned and scheduled days weeks in advance so we need to plan when we can and do such type of uh, planned shutdown of our servers workstations and other control systems uh, so that is the maintenance period we need to find out when is the shutdown is coming when there is a process shutdown and in that case we can reboot or we can plan our uh, service and maintenance of that particular control system high availability requires exhaustive pre-deployment testing so even if we are implementing high availability we need to ensure this by putting uh, intensive test of those things so whether it is uh, switching correctly or not so this was uh, about the performance requirement and availability requirement let's move to the other topics